Thank you, everyone. So my name is Tony Morton. I'm a computer science and creative technology teacher at St. Paul's Girls School in London. Beyond that, I'm also an artist, musician, and a general creative technologist, but those don't pay the bills. So my interests lie with some of these things here, data, physicalization, so turning data, morphing it, transforming it into physical representations, sonification as well, and interactive systems, so using how, how a human can interact with a, a generated system and in, interact within that. I'm going to talk about chat GPT. In an academic institute, there is a real fear at the moment about this. Institutes are really scared about the ethical connotations of pupils, students, creating work and submitting it as themselves. So there's all sorts of plagiarism and stuff like that. I'm actually part of a strategic group at my institution, thinking about how we can kind of traverse this environment, how we can embrace it, but also how we can allow students to take ownership of that. Now, today I'm not going to talk about the ethical implications of that. I want to talk about something a little bit more profound, perhaps maybe unacademical. I want to talk about can ChatGPT write a convincing piece of music? Okay, so first off, I can't just get ChatGPT to create me some, an audio file. I can't get it to analyze some audio and just spit out something. It won't let me do that. So I can't, also, I can't get it to write a piece of music and give me a score or anything like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm limited to its output, which is text-based. However, it can produce some code. Okay, no doubt all of you here have used it to produce some form of code. Now, what I now need is a piece of software that I can use to take that code and play back the music. And so I'm going to use a piece of software called Sonic Pi. Any musicians in the room, if you haven't used Sonic Pi, it's a fantastic piece of software. It allows you to code music. It's a great gateway into kind of the Algorave kind of community. Okay, so I want to give it a prompt to start me off to create some really profound music. So Taylor Swift, of course, is my choice. And I'm going to start with a four chord sequence, something pretty basic, but something hopefully that chat GPT can offer me. And this is kind of what it looks like. As a part-time musician, a wannabe musician, if you look at this, we're already at, it's pr pretty uninspiring. We're already, we're at 120 beats per minute. Anyone who's opened up an audio DAW or anything like that will know that's a standard tempo. We're also in the key of C major, so that's also pretty uninspiring as well. And we're also just triads. Whatever you think of Taylor Swift as a musician, she is certainly better than producing a four chord sequence based on something like this. However, we'll, 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 we'll continue our journey. And so I'm using Sonic Pi here, and let's hope we've got an audio. Pretty naff. OK, but hey-ho. Thank you, thank you. Well, don't applaud me, applaud ChatGPT. OK, so moving on. OK, so I've got, I've got a chord sequence. However, I want to make this a little bit, a bit special, a little bit more like how a, a piano player, a pianist actually plays. So I want to use seventh chords, and I want to use some inversions. OK, make it sound a little bit more natural, or as natural as it can get using the sounds from Sonic Pi. OK, so it gives me this. And we can see it's done something over there. However, what it gives me is a syntax error. OK, so it doesn't like the fact that I'm calling my chord, or it's calling its chord major 7, or MAJ7. OK, so if we have a look at this here, we can see it's kind of doing a couple of things. It hasn't really got a consistent syntax. It's, I suppose, the major 7 with the colon are kind of maybe parameters, and we've got some kind of string values for the other, it's kind of combining both of these. Now, the thing is, if you look at the top line, it knows that that is correct. But it gets to the bottom line, and it makes a mistake. So why doesn't it just use what it did previously? I don't know. But anyway, we've got a mistake here. So I tell it, it is wrong. And it apologizes. I have chat GPT. It's very apologetic. <laughs> it apologizes, and it says, I'm correct. Yes, I am. Yes, you are wrong. OK, so I point out the error and tell it to change. OK, so here we go. So this is what it's come up with. It's changed a little bit. Hopefully, we get a result. We get another syntax error. OK, so it doesn't like this chord. OK, a, 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 a min 7. OK, well, a minus 7. OK, so hang on a minute. OK, so let's see what it's given me. So again, it knows how to do a minus 7 in the first example it's giving me. But for some reason, 
it's abbreviated the word minor into min. Now, I don't know why it's done that, but it's done that. And it doesn't work. OK, so again, I point out there is an error with you. You are wrong, I'm right. And apologizes again for the confusion. And I am correct, yes. And here we go. And it gives me this. OK, so I'm hoping now that I'm in a position where I can actually get some sound, some better sound from this. And it gives me another syntax error, which I'm not very happy about. But anyway, so this it's happy with the chords. I'm happy with the chords. However, it's creating some sort of error with this syntax error with this term invert, trying to create some sort of chord inversions. I've kind of wasted about 15 minutes of my time here. So I just want to stop, and I want you guys to listen to more naffness from Sonic Pi. So kind of give up on that and tell it just to get rid of it. So I tell it to get rid of it, just remove it, and then just play some chords, play the original chords that you had. However, I wasn't that explicit in how I prompted it, and so it got rid of all of the seventh and ninth chords that it actually successfully created down the line anyway. But anyway, at this moment in time, I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to move on and try and add some more parts to this piece of music and see how we get on. OK, so this is what it gives me. Add a simple drum beat comprising of a kick drum and a snare drum. OK, so I've got a musical part. It's looped it. And hopefully, we've got some parts in there. Hopefully, now we've got some parts. Kind of works. OK, sounds like music. OK. Again, not very inspiring, but hey-oh, we'll, we'll, we'll work with it. OK, cool. So I'm quite happy that it's actually given me that. And so I decided to give me a bass line. OK, so I want to add something else to it. I've kind of got something in my head. I kind of want this kind of boom, 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 boom kind of bass line underneath it. And so hopefully I've expressed it right in, 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 in the prompt. And hopefully it's going to come up with something that I want it to do. And here we go. That's not a bass line, but hey-ho, I think I can work with it to try and get it low enough to become a bass line. So here we go. OK, now we're cooking. I think I can forgive it. I think I can forgive ChatGPT. I think we might be making some real progress here. OK, so let's add a melody line. No, we didn't give it any explicit prompts this time. Just thought, you know, it's up to you. See what you come up with. Here we go. OK. There's something there. Again, not very complex, but hey-ho, it, it, it's, it's got so far. Now, let's uh, return to the elephant in the room, the major seventh and ninth chords, and I, exactly the same syntax error, it didn't like that. OK, at that point, that's it. I got a bit bored with this whole time, half an hour or so I spent trying to make some music here. So moving on then, let's have a look at some of the issues. So this time, it generated me. It, 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 It'd be, again, it moved to a consistent type of syntax using kind of string variables. However, it still, still is doing this abbreviating. And this is what it should look like in the bottom right-hand corner with a bit of, a bit of movement. Is, is this, the correct syntax is moving, getting rid of those abbreviations, M-A-J, from that to get, this, uh, to get this moment. So, well, what went wrong? Lots of things, but it was inaccurate quite inaccurate at the end of the day. It made assumptions. Now, I think it made assumptions. If we look back at kind of this example, we know it can make a major seventh chord. We know it can make a minor seventh chord. But for whatever reason, it decides to abbreviate the minor to min. Now, that's its own, own thought process. I don't know why it's done that. Perhaps it's looked at the, the chord that it decided to create before that, the dominant. And that is abbreviated. That is correct syntax. Perhaps has looked at that and gone, well, that works. It's got to work. Apparently, not though. So what about looking at the training data? Well, perhaps it's made some mistake. Perhaps the training data itself was, was incorrect. 
you know, looking at Stack Overflow, there's loads of issues with people trying Sonic Pi, making mistakes. Perhaps, you know, ChatGPT was access uh, was was accessing some of that some of that information, and perhaps that's why some of it was was wrong. Perhaps it's out of date. Sonic Pi. I'm using the previous version of ChatGPT, which is I think it stopped training in 2021. So maybe Sonic Pi had some updates, but probably not enough to warrant that much of much more of a change. Was this a convincing piece of music? Well, I don't think so. It's musical. I got a clap from you guys, so that's good. It, it's musical, it works together, but it's very, very basic and very fundamental. It took me about half an hour to kind of massage that. Now, if you are a musician, no doubt you could create something like that on GarageBand in about five minutes. Certainly, this boy, Miles Can, I don't know if you've seen him on TikTok, six-year-old musician, is absolutely amazing. This is a six-year-old musician who can create something much better in the time than, than ChatGPT can. I think this opens up a, a, a wider question, a bigger kind of a bigger profound question is, should we value AI created art? And I think at the moment we haven't defined where we hold value at the moment. AI is creating some really impressive things, but is it is the interest there because it's new and exciting because it's new? Maybe we haven't quite defined the role of the artist and their and, and what we want from from our art, does it need to have a human element to it? And just to leave a quote from Jacob Collier, he's a fantastic musician, if you haven't seen him before, do check him out. He says, AI as a tool in music making is fine, but it's always going to be the humanity in music that makes people want to listen. And I think that's something that we need to define as a society is the hu humanity approach. Yes, Taylor Swift writes music, but she's not just a musician. She's it's everything else around her, that persona, and her experiences that have allowed her to create those songs, not me just going on ChatGPT and trying to emulate her. Thank you very much.